Hi guys, today I will share with you everything you should know about the U.S. Citizenship Test. Your U.S. Citizenship Test includes two components, English and Civics. You should aim to do well on your Citizenship Test. You will only have two chances to pass the Citizenship Test, so preparing in advance is important. The English component of the U.S. Citizenship Test includes speaking, reading, and writing tests. Immigration officials will provide you with a digital tablet to use for your reading and writing tests. The English component will test your command of basic English grammar and vocabulary. Don't be afraid of making a few common mistakes on the English component. It's okay not to speak English perfectly. During the test, you may ask your immigration officer to clarify some of the questions. Your immigration officer may then repeat particular words or phrases or clarify a question for you. On the speaking test, your immigration officer will ask you to answer questions about your naturalization eligibility or application. They do so to assess your English speaking and comprehension abilities. To best prepare for this part of the English test, you can read over your citizenship application before taking your exam. On the reading test, your immigration officer will hand you a digital tablet. The tablet will display a sentence that your immigration officer will ask you to read out loud. You will be given, at most, three sentences to read out loud until you have correctly read one. If you read the first sentence correctly, you will have passed and won't need to continue reading more sentences. U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services maintains a list of vocabulary words that you might see on the reading test questions. Be sure to review this list before taking your exam. The immigration officer administering your reading test is trying to see whether you understand the sentences you're reading. So, be sure not to pause for too long while reading sentences out loud. You should not replace any unfamiliar words in the sentence with words you are more familiar with. It's generally alright if you leave out a few short words, incorrectly pronounce some words, or have a non-standard intonation when you speak. The final part of the English component is the writing test. On the writing portion, you'll need to listen to your immigration officer say a sentence. Then, you'll write that sentence on your digital tablet using a stylus. You must write one out of three sentences correctly to pass this section of the test. It's usually okay to make a few capitalization, grammatical, or punctuation errors. USCIS also maintains a list of vocabulary words that you might see on the writing test questions. Be sure to also review this list before your exam. The civics portion of the naturalization test requires you to have a good understanding of U.S. history and the American government. To pass the civics test, you'll need to provide the correct answer to at least 6 out of 10 questions. The immigration officer will select questions randomly from the 100 civics questions to ask you. Once you have answered the sixth question correctly, they will stop the test. Some questions will require you to do research in advance. For example, you might be asked to name one of your state's U.S. senators. Since state senators vary based on which state you live in, you should study any specific information like this in advance. I hope this helps you. Thank you for watching.